Hey everyone, Lone Wolf Jai here, and uh, one thing I forgot to mention in the last video is that um, I was playing a little bit of Honga before making this, you know, waiting for the 9 o'clock time to do it, but um, when I did, I um, I was doing uh, the, the Abyss, got out of it. I mean, the team I'm using right now is uh, my... Bright Knight, Durandal, Hair Shermay, and SP27. That's a pretty good team. So, yeah, that's there's that. But right now we're going to be playing this. And it looks like we got Berserkers and Assassins. So guess what? All caster team. Uh, let's go ahead and use... Uh, no, 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 no. Does someone have Myrtle in the fucking god? Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, just use this Myrtle in here. Okay, there we go. Uh, get him out of here. He's not. Let's just put. Um, her in there because she's close to getting more you know, bond level. Uh, yeah, let's keep uh, let's keep Okita Alter in there. All right, here we go. Let me check the time real quick. Yeah, I got play at time. Snow. Ice and fire. So this is a skinny even lost belt. Look at it again, it's all very strange. Yes, I think so too. Ice and snow need extreme cold, but fire is one of the hottest things in the world. Yet somehow here they are coexisting. See to, to see two such fundamentally different things mixed together like this. I don't know how I don't know what to call it other than strange. There doesn't seem to be anything here that can burn. But there's a fire floating above the mountains. If this isn't from mystics, I don't know what is. Oh, the Olorus boards are great in get, at getting around. Since they can even get up, go up inches, go up inches, go up inclines. But when you move at high speeds, we don't want to. You really won't be able to take stock of your surroundings as much. Now we're taking a break to look around. There are several things I've noticed. For example, the mountain fall of snow. I read that Scandinavia actually isn't all that snowy except for Norway. But here in this lost belt, the mountains are frozen over. Even the trees are... No, wait. Not trees. Just ice-shaped, like, conifers. Does, that, does this mean there aren't any plants here? It certainly seems that way. At least at this point. Maybe this means there's a different force at work here. Something very different that caused Russia's Ice Age. I remember hearing those lo these lost belts are alternate, hypothetical versions of history. What must, what must this world's history have been like for it to have this sort of scenery? Ah. Fo, fo, cow. Look, senpai, birds. That must mean this lost belt has other normal animals and not just giants and demonic beasts. I'm kind of relieved to see that. Right, the fact that birds can survive in this world is a good sign. Fo, fo. Fo? There's something about those birds that bothers you? Fo, fo, fo. Um, anyway, we should get back to our journey. Fo, you stay inside my shield while we use the other boards, okay? We don't want the wind blowing you away like we were while we were on the move, after all. Fo. But first, here's my where we could where we'd be in proper human history. There's definitely some margin of error since there aren't any GPS allies to sync up with, but it should still help. There we go. We're currently in the Scandinavian Peninsula, right on top of what used to be a Lake Vatern in southern Sweden. Got it. 
Lake Vatter and his enormous lake blood believed to be taken to have taken shape after Earth's most recent ice age. It's said to be almost 2,000 square kilometers. But in this lost belt, we're obviously staying on a mountain range covered in snow. Fo, 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 fo. It's not just the ice and snow and fire. This lost belt differs from proper human history in a lot of significant ways. I thought I learned in Latin Russia, but after seeing all this, I feel like I'm learning it all over again. Fo, fo, fo. Fo, 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 fo. Fo, kyo. Uh, fo? Kyo, kyo. What is it, fo? Did I do something to... Ah. I'm so sorry. I should have noticed sooner. There are large magical energy signals nearby. They look to be giants. But why now? We ran into a single one on the way here. Maybe they only approach if you have to stay in one place for a long time. No, never mind. I'll worry about that later. Right now, we need to take care of the immediate threat. Let's go head them off. Understood. Ready to begin battle once the giants are in range. I mean, I could bring Hulksai along. She's pretty good against... She's good against, uh, you know, large numbers of... Um, what's it called? Um, those things. Oh, wow. That thing's pretty tough. All right. That just do. Two efforts is down. All right. Well, since there's a. What do I have? Okay, that one. Well, since this is three turns, I'll go ahead and do this. By the way, I have an extra grail and I'm finally using it on her. Like I said in a previous video. Oh, man. Alright. And there's only two, so yeah, she's good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have her wipe them all out. Yeah, that's not really gonna help. But, eh. Okay, so here we go. And, you know, don't get me wrong, having QP is great. <clears throat> what time is it? 
Oh, okay. Cutting the guy claws. All right, let's do this. Uh, next video, it's going to be, well, same crew. So, that's going to be the next video. Until next time, it's Lord Jason. Thank you all for watching. Take care of yourselves.